Good afternoon and God bless all my brothers and sisters. So many people say there is a seven year tribulation, but there's not one scripture to prove that. However, there are six specific scriptures that say Jacob's trouble and great tribulation will last for three and a half years. So it's not seven years of tribulation. And the Antichrist is only given 42 months, starting from when he sits in the temple, claims to be God and demands the world to worship him as God. That's the abomination that causes desolation. This is when the mark of the beast will be enforced. Although we can see it coming and guess what it might be? We are not going to be here when it happens and it will not be enforced until the Antichrist uh, comes to power in spring of 2021 after we are caught up to God's throne. The man of sin is restrained right now and he can't begin his 42 month reign until God says so. But he's working his wicked schemes secretly until God's restraining power is removed in the middle of God's time frame. I ask you to pray and ask the Holy Spirit for truth of his word. And please do your own research and back up all things with scripture. There is Daniel's 70th week for his people, half fulfilled by Jesus 2,000 years ago, and half still to come. The period of time for Jacob's trouble. And who is Jacob? Jacob got a new name, Israel which we saw the sign in 2017, which is when I believe the seven year countdown began. I believe we're in the seven years and it's not all tribulation. What we're seeing right now is not tribulation, but stronger and more powerful and painful birth pains. Now, Revelation 12 supports this. I look at Rev 12 and I see the outline for the last seven years according to scripture. And we saw this Reb 12 great sign of the woman on September 23rd, 2017. The sign of the dragon in heaven is still to come. Now notice the sign of the woman had the moon and sun and stars. It was an alignment. But the sign of the dragon has no mention of any planetary items. That is not an astronomical alignment, but something seen in heaven, which we are told has a tail, which sweeps down the stars to the earth. Meteor showers, asteroids, etc which could be the asteroid Atlas with the tail getting longer and longer. Now, Atlas is called the day star. Isaiah 14 and 12 says, How you have fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, O day star, son of the morning. You have been cut down to the ground, O destroyer of nations. Luke 10 and 18 says, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. Now, it's interesting, it's located just above the dip Big Dipper in the north, making it look like God is pouring out some cosmic events onto the earth. A third of the fallen angels are thrown down to the earth, which will be the alien deception and lies. Now, these are the falling stars, a.k.a. fallen angels, and we have not seen the woman in travail or war yet. If we look at Red 12 as an outline, these three things have not yet happened before the child is caught up or raptured to God's throne in heaven. Now, according to Mike from around the world in the final days YouTube channel, the earth will be moving through an asteroid debris field from around June to August timeframe. That sounds like it could be a huge and potentially disastrous time of events worldwide. Now I am thinking the fallen angel deception is coming this summer and the war for Israel is around the same time, 9th of Av, that's around July 30th. And that time, according to scripture, it is God who comes to Israel, Israel's defense and not the USA. So where is the USA? So also watch Taiwan. China is about to invade Taiwan and leaks of this invasion in 2020 have come out. And the U.S. will go to Taiwan's rescue, leaving China to retaliate against us. So if Hebrew historicity replays itself, as the Bible says, and another war happens to Israel around the 9th of Av, we are not able to come to her rescue before the child is caught up. Well, then, folks, we are in for a very difficult few months ahead. Now, Jews believe that Feast of Trumpets is the time that the dead rise, and I believe that's most likely the time as well. And then we are changed and given our white robes and then the rapture rescue. Now there are 50 days from the 9th of Av to the Feast of Trumpets. Is that a coincidence? This is not a thus saith the Lord, but it goes by a Revelation 12 outline, which doesn't come to pass in seconds or minutes or days, but over months and years. 
The spring summer moedims of the Lord God have already been fulfilled and there won't be a Passover or Easter or Pentecost rapture. They've been fulfilled. God shows his signs on his moedims for a reason. Please watch more on Brenda Weltner's channel. She is a teacher of end times and has amazing insights and fresh understandings to so many things that will blow your mind and bless your soul. Brenda is a gifted and anointed teacher for Revelation scripture for these very last days. So strengthen your heart and trust in God, for we most certainly will see more and more difficult things ahead. But we are not appointed to his wrath, which comes at the end of Jacob's trouble. So thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. And we are to fear not, for God is with us. Now let's look at the timing of the Antichrist in 2 Thessalonians 2, where there's a power that's holding back the man of sin from beginning his 42-month reign on earth. That power stops holding him back in the middle. He is taken out of the way, and that word is mesos, which means in the midst, to disappear in the center, in the middle, at midnight. So whatever that power is, it doesn't really matter, but it will stop holding back the man of sin in the middle of the seven years. Micah 4, speaking to Israel, Why are you now crying out? Don't you have a king? Has your counselor been destroyed that you are seized with a pain like a woman in labor? Be in pain. Work to give birth like a woman in labor, daughter of Zion. That's Revelation 12 language, friends, and it's the agony of labor, the birthing of the child, but her child was snatched up to God and the throne, the harpazo. And she fled into the desert where she was has a place prepared for her by God so she can be taken care of for 1260 days. And she will flee when the Antichrist commits the abomination that causes the newly built temple to be desolate. That's at the midpoint of the seven-year countdown, the same amount of time for the Antichrist to reign for 42 months. Back to Micah. There you will be rescued. There Adonai will redeem you from the power of your enemies. For now you will go out of the city where it, Israel flees to the mountains at midpoint and live in the wilderness. And that is for 42 months. But the serpent has not yet been thrown down at this time of the Harpazo. There's still a war in heaven to come. So there will be about six months from the great escape to the mid seven year time frame when the abomination occurs and Israel flees to the mountains in spring 2021. Micah 5 and 1. The troops go against you, Israel, but you, Bethlehem, out of you will come forth to me the future ruler of Israel, whose origins are far in the past, back in ancient times. That's the Lord Jesus Christ, folks. Therefore, he will give up Israel only until she who is in labor gives birth. The white robe change in Reb 12. So when she gives birth, then God will turn his eyes back to Israel. Verse 4. He, Jesus Christ, will stand and his feet and he will feed his flocks and in the strength of Adonai, they will stay put. This, friends, is Zechariah 14 and 4. It is here again at the mid seven year point where Israel flees into the wilderness and Jesus Christ stands on the Mount of Olives and it splits, opening up the great valley to lead the Jews through the mountains so they can be safe away from the serpent. Is it a coincidence that the midpoint here on the timeline is April 3rd, 2021, the very same day in Hebrew history when the Red Sea splits and Israel found themselves trapped between the Egyptian army and the waters of the Red Sea. This time around, the remnant woman escapes, flees out of Jerusalem, trapped between Jerusalem and the mountains when Jesus Christ splits the Mount of Olives, paving the way for the remnant to escape. Now, a revival is going on right now, and the Lord is allowing events to come onto the earth like never before, before the Harpazo, even terrifying events. So many will come to the Lord Jesus Christ in these very last few months. Now, there's several different gatherings unto God's throne. The first is for true believers in the Lord Jesus Christ on Feast of Trumpets 2020. Now, this is when the Jews believe the dead will rise at the last trump of the age of grace. And we will be changed 
and given our white robes and glorified new bodies, and then we will gather with him in the clouds and up to God's throne. The next gathering is at the three and a half year mark in April 2021. The Jewish first fruits are taken on first fruits the day Jesus rose. That is 144,000 and the two witnesses that are killed at Passover. Then there's a gathering that no one knows the day or the hour. It comes at the end of the seven years, but before God's bowls of wrath are poured out onto the earth, before fall of 2024. That is the gathering that no one knows the day or the hour for left behind folks that become believers in Jesus Christ during Jacob's trouble. Now, there are two great signs that we've see, seen in heaven, and they are witnesses to God's Revelation 12 timetable. The 2017 total solar eclipse crossing the USA and the second total solar eclipse crossing the USA in 2024. These are signposts and markers, friends, given to us by God seen in heaven. And I want to talk to those who are so adamantly stuck waiting on some Daniel 927 Antichrist making a seven year covenant with Israel that triggers the tribulation. There's nowhere in scripture that it says anything like that. And that is not the Antichrist. It's Jesus Christ with his three and a half year covenant ministry that was cut off at his crucifixion. The first three and a half years of the 70th week, he built the new covenant with the Jews first, then the Gentiles. That's God's new covenant. And then he was cut off. The second half of Jacob's trouble, 70th week, has been remaining on a holding pattern ever since. And the final three and a half years of Daniel's 70th week to finish all things will begin at the abomination of desolation in spring 2021. Now, Jesus said in Matthew 24, 15, when you therefore see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel standing in the holy place, then let him who is in Judea flee to the mountains. That's mid seven years on the Gentile Rev 12 timeline in the midst of Daniel's 70th week. Jacob's trouble and the final three and a half years begins. Verse 21, for then shall be great tribulation, says as was never seen before in the world. So Jesus is saying the abomination is the event that will trigger the three and a half years Jacob trouble. So when we, what we have left, I believe, is about 23 weeks to go, friends. Using the Revelation 12 as God's outline, we will soon see the cosmic anomaly that comes around May 12th. The sign of the dragon, day star, meteor, approach around Pentecost, the asteroid debris field, aka falling stars, this summer beginning in June, and most likely... These events will bring the alien deception. And even Pope said he would baptize our alien brothers and the Pope is not to be trusted. We may see fallen angels dressed as these ancient beings, sons of renown, who will begin to twist scripture and attempt to explain that they're here to save us. And then when the great escape happens, they will attempt to explain our disappearance, that those who have ears to hear know we are safely in the throne room of heaven. But most of the left behind will believe the lie. We will also see Israel travail in war this summer. And if this is the time where God rescues Israel himself, where is the United States of America? Why does she not come to Israel's rescue? I submit to you, friends, this may be the time of her demise. Now, my first thought is an EMP. So do you have provisions, food, water, medicine, protection? If this does come to pass, that would give us exactly 50 days from the 9th of Av to the Feast of Trumpets. 50 days without power, phones, internet, information. So I don't know if this is going to happen for sure and if it will all play out that way. But if it does, are you ready? So please share this video far and wide, friends. Let's have one last huge push to get folks saved. You want to be counted worthy to escape all the things coming down onto this earth. You want to be at peace and no fear.